Now, there are two trains here. One is called the blue train and the other one is called the purple train. And do they travel at the same speed? Well, some people will say, I don't know, because the question didn't say. Well, it's true that the question didn't say, but you actually can infer. How do you infer? Well, the blue train took six minutes to travel from point A to point B. And then the purple train took 12 minutes to travel from point B to point A. Of course, one of the trains is slower, right? Which one is slower? Did you say purple? Yes, you're right. Okay, because the purple train took a longer time, so it is slower. Sounds a little bit... Okay, go think about it. The purple train took a longer time, so it is slower, okay? Now, so this question is not a speed question, although we have used traveling. Okay, it's not a speed question. It is a question where we want to think about combined effort. Okay, so how do we combine effort? Okay, I want you to imagine, I am given a task to draw a straight line from my house all the way to Changi Airport. Okay, so there's, there are two ways for me to do it, you know. The first one is that, I draw the line by myself, starting from my house, and I draw the white line on the road all the way to Changi Airport. The other way, which is a faster way, would be I get my best friend to go to the other side. Okay, maybe my husband. Okay, I get my bus husband. He's my best friend. Huh? Okay, to go to the other side to Changi Airport, and then we will start drawing the line. Okay, until we meet. Now, because my husband is taller than me, his legs are longer, right? <laughs> I have less effort. I, I, get, I can walk slowly. And he has to make bigger strides. So he will do a little bit more. He is faster and I'm slower. And we will meet, meet somewhere, maybe not, probably not in the middle. Okay, we'll meet somewhere. That's called combined effort. Now, in this question, we want to think in terms of combined effort. Now, blue train comes from here. Purple train comes from here, and they're going to move. And blue train, of course, is faster, right? So faster, and then the purple, and then they will meet somewhere. Okay, how do we go about that? Okay, first of all, I will find out one minute in one minute. In one minute. Okay, I want to look at how much the blue train can cover in terms of the journey. Well, so the blue train will cover one six of journey okay how do i spell journey okay journey and then i look at purple train the purple train will actually take cover one twelfth of journey you know what this means so at nine o'clock it says if both trains sets off at 9 a.m means at nine o'clock the captain will beep and what happens the two train will start to do, 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 Okay, one minute later, freeze, all right, freeze. Everything freezes. Okay, what happens? Well, we will notice that the blue train actually covered one-sixth of the entire journey, whereas the purple train covered one-twelfth of the entire journey. So, what you can see is that their combined effort in covering the journey is one-sixth plus one-twelfth. Okay, that makes, of course, you must change to the common denominator. You know all these, right? So that's 12. So this is 2. So this is 1 over 12. So it's 3 over 12. If you reduce it, it becomes 1 quarter of journey. So after going through all of that, you realize, aha, uh -huh, in one minute, combined effort, the total distance covered is 1 quarter of the journey. So it took them 1 quarter minute to cover one quarter of the journey some parts on this side some parts on that side okay so now i unfreeze what happens the train continues. they meet okay so in how many minutes will they cover what is the total journey four out of four one quarter right will they blue plus purple cover four out of four of the journey Okay, so this is how you think. Okay, your thinking process goes like this. Well, the working, how does the working look like? Well, the working will look something like this. Mm, one quarter of the journey will take us one minute or take them one minute. Okay, and I want to cover four out of four of the journey. I'll take one and I divide it by one quarter. And then I times four out of four. Okay, this is the usual kind of conversion. Just that now you have fractions right if you're unsure you can go look at our videos because i've taught a lot of that okay so then here you have keep change flip remember this keep change flip because it involves a fraction 
So you keep the one, you change the sign, and you do your four over one. You do a flip. And this one you don't have to keep change flip because this is a multiplication. This is a times, okay? And now you can do your cancelling. You have cancelled this and this, and guess what? You have four. Four what? Well, this is one minute, so this is four minutes. Is this my final answer? No, because the question says what time? Time, okay? So what time? Well, it will be 9 o'clock plus 4 minutes. So that's 9.04 a.m. Did you get the answer? Well, you can look at our videos and then be able to learn more about this combined effort. All right?